Welcome to the Bead Time Joy Making Workshop. My name is Debbie Wood and I'm going to show you in this video how to make a basic loop, which is the perfect technique for making uh, earrings. If we have a look at this one that I've prepared earlier on, you can see, hopefully, that there is a small loop sitting off the earring finding there. The type of earring finding that I'm using, this one is called a fish hook wire, but you can get uh, kidney wire and you can get um, a little post earring as well. But they all work in the same way. So to make your earring then, we're going to be using a head pin. We have a 50mm pin here and we have a 25mm pin. I've just put both of these out for you to see because obviously the 50mm really lends itself well to being able to stack some beads on to make yourself a long dangly earring. And the short one, depending on the size of the bead, is useful as well to use. Okay, I'm going to place my bead on the pin. It sits happily on the little flat head there, which is marvellous. And I'm going to cut off the excess wire that I don't need. So I'm going to leave myself approximately a centimetre of wire there and this is my excess that I'm cutting off. Remember to put your fingers around the bit that's going to be cut or cover over with your hand. Oops, nearly lost it. There we go. So I'm going to use my round nose pliers now to create an angle in the wire there. So. I can try and bend that away there. If you find that difficult, you could just take your finger or thumb and just push it over at an angle. Using the round nose pliers, I'm now going to grip it in the middle part of the plier there. Okay, now the reason for that is that when I make a loop, if I use the end part of my plier, that will create a small loop. And if I use the bottom part of the plier, this will create a, quite a large loop. So I'm going to create something in the middle. So I'm just turning my wrist back towards me. I'll just show you that. That's created a half loop there. Pop my plier back in, gripping down on the top. And now I'm just gently kind of teasing it over there. Just keep tweaking until you bring the end of the wire in to meet the stem. Okay, and there is your basic loop. It's not the strongest loop. My preference is for a wrapped loop but it is ideal for earrings, quick and easy. The earring finding, if I just move that bead out of the way, this bottom loop twists open to the side, so if I grip, twist to the side, then I can hook on my, my earring. And then just twist that back in. And there you have it, it's as easy as that. 